Kelsey rubbing his right eye right there. And now after three lopsided rounds by CompuBox numbers, all in favor of Vargas, round four begins. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? Jim, so far it's a no-brander. 30 to 27, three to nothing. Ferocious Fernando Vargas, beautiful left jabs, tremendous straight right hands. This fight is entirely Vargas. You know, Jim, we always talk about the four points in which we score around. Give Vargas credit for defense as well. I mean, every time Yuri Boy swings, he misses him three quarters at a time. Good defense by Vargas, as well as good clean punching. The 1996 United States Olympic boxing team was Tela Invisible in Atlanta. But what a group they're turning out to be. Vargas. Mayweather Jr., David Reed, several others making their mark early on. Don't do that again, man. Come on, let's go. Go. Fernando wants to be a leader, even though he was the youngest member of the team, and he has certainly shown all his promise early tonight. I think your boy's getting frustrated. But he takes some crack. And he's still in there, and he's motivated, I feel, Roy, by the, by the feeling in him that if he can keep pressing pressure on this youngster, that eventually he'll slow down and wear down simply by having a long, very important, very emotional fight. piece has fallen out. Referee Eddie to Cotton stops it. You, go to for corner. you so. can see there's an abrasion along the right eye of Vargas where he was cut rather seriously in his last fight. Okay, hold, 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 hold. That fight was on August 22. Okay. It was on the undercard of Ivan Robinson. Arturo Gotti won against Darren Mashinsky. And in a headbutt, Vargas got a big cut along the right side of the eye. And as Larry points out, it looks pink and abraded already here tonight. But Campus is getting by far the worst of it. Another left hook landing flush for Vargas. A beautiful left hook by Vargas. There's another good, strong left hook inside for Vargas. The Europe boy is just trying to make Vargas work very hard here, but I don't know if he's going to be able to withstand all these punches from Vargas. Now Campus knocks the mouthpiece out of Vargas's mouth. And landed a good right hand inside. First big rally of the fight for Campus, and Vargas is trying to smile his way through it, but the mouthpiece came out because, as Larry pointed out, Campus landed the right hand. You know, I think a stoppage at that point is a little unfair to the champion. A little premature. Things were going in his way. I don't think the action had stopped. And as they resume, Vargas fires that left-right combination, which has been so good to him early on in the bout. Round four of the scheduled 12 of the 154-pound world title, Fernando Vargas, off to a tremendous start, has never fought beyond six rounds in his professional career. He says that he sparred twice, 12 full rounds in training up at Big Bear. He's done it on other occasions as well, and he says he has absolutely no his ability to go the distance. That's all yours. One, two, and get out. One, two, and get out. Hit him with the punches and get out. You're winning. Just keep on doing the same thing. Okay? Okay. 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 Everything okay? You feel good? Okay. Good. Okay, don't waste any energy. When you hit him, push away. Don't force. We'll see a little right hand in here that got to Vargas right there, knocked his mouthpiece out. Incidentally, a very expensive mouthpiece. His dentist from Oxnard is here. His dentist made him a $600 mouthpiece. <laughs> And he jumped out of his mouth at an appropriate time. <laughs> it might be worth every penny. <laughs> well, if you're going to be a champion, you want to have some expensive clothes. In four rounds, Yori Boy Campus hasn't gotten off, averaging only 29 punches per round. 
Vargas was planning to throw between 70 and 80 per round. He hasn't had to do that. He's been more measured in his pace because he's been so accurate. Also, Jim, obviously because they're thinking about the fact that this is a long distance run. It's not a sprint. Just missing with the right cross is Vargas. Campus waving and missing with his left. Already you get the sense that Vargas is standing and trading a little bit more, not moving quite as much. Okay, fellas, let's go. We're into the second third of the fight. You also get the sense, Roy, that Miguel Diaz has done a, done a pretty good job of closing that right eye cut for campus. Yes, because you haven't seen any more blood. And the only thing about these $600 mouthpieces, Larry, is that you can't spit them out to get ripped because they don't come out that easy. <laughs> they have to be knocked out. You got a fancy mouthpiece, Roy? Mm -hmm. Nope, but it's fancy enough. It gets the job done. I don't plan on using it that much, so I just have to get a fancy. <laughs> Vargas firing another right-hand lead. Campus momentarily traps him along the ropes. Vargas steps away. Vargas' punches don't seem to have the same steam on him anymore. No, and Yuri Boy is starting to step up the energy level a little bit. Now in round number five. He's body shots. He's throwing body shots, and uh, Vargas is not. Vargas should know the body shots are hurting him, so he should be throwing them at, at Yuri Boy. You kind of suspect that Campus has lost the first four rounds of the fight. Now he's giving a much better account of himself in round five and getting to Vargas's body now with consistency. Yeah, I think he gave those first four rounds away to make Vargas work extra hard. Stop the two big punchers, Jose Luis Lopez and Felix Trinidad, were both able to put Campus away. But that was on 147 pounds. And Miguel Diaz insists his fighter would never have gone down to those guys at 154, where he's stronger and more resilient. And he has taken some good punches tonight, but he's landed some very good fighter shots against the younger fighter tonight. This is Campus's best round. Two more good body shots for Campus as round five comes to a close. And as Miguel Diaz prepares to work a little more on Yori Boy Campus's right eye, here is Arturo Gatti's left eye at 9.25 p.m. About an hour and 15 minutes ago, Cutman Joe Souza there working on Gotti's eyes and preparing him for the inevitable swelling and possible cutting which attends all of Gatti's fights. This is how he looked in 1995 after the first round against Tracy Harris Patterson in 1996 after the first round against Wilson Rodriguez. Earlier this year, after the first round against Angel Manfredi, notice that the left eye is always damaged. And after the first round of Ivan Robinson versus Arturo Gatti, August 22, same story. So Larry, as you said, they start putting the end swell on him when he gets up on... Uh...